Welcome to Robot Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create and use collision sets to detect potential collisions during robot simulations. Let's get started. First, open your Robot Studio project or create a new station with your robot and environment models loaded. This station features a robot equipped with a dispensing tool, operating in conjunction with a designated workpiece and fixture. A predefined path has been established to guide the process. To ensure safe and efficient operation, it is critical to prevent any collisions between the robot, its tool, and surrounding components such as the fixture. To address this, we implement collision sets. To create a collision set, go to the Simulation tab. Click Create Collision Set. A collision set contains two groups, Objects A and Objects B, in which you place the objects to detect any collisions between them. When any object in Objects A collides with any object in Objects B, the collision is displayed in the graphical view and logged in the output window. You can have several collision sets in the station, but each collision set can only contain two groups. Drag the relevant objects into the Objects A node. These are the items you want to monitor for collisions, for example, the robot and tool. Drag the other objects into the Objects B node. These are the items to check against, for example, the workpiece and fixture. If multiple objects need to be included in either group, simply drag all of them into the appropriate node. You can activate or deactivate a collision set by right-clicking on it. Additionally, selecting the Modify Collision Set allows further configuration, including toggling its active status. Within the modification settings, you have the option to enable near-miss detection, which defines the maximum allowable distance between objects to be flagged as a near miss. The highlight colliding feature enables users to specify which object, part, body, or surface should be visually highlighted in the event of a collision. This also generates a temporary markup at the point of collision or near miss for better visibility. Users can customize the collision and near miss colors to suit their preferences. There's also an option to display markup at the collision point, enhancing clarity during analysis. Lastly, the system supports collision detection for invisible objects within the station, ensuring comprehensive safety checks. Additional options are available, including the ability to copy the collision set, create a new tag, delete, or rename the existing set, providing flexibility in managing collision configurations. Let's proceed with the simulation to evaluate whether any collisions occur among the configured set of objects. As the simulation runs, we can observe collisions involving the robot tool and the workpiece holders. Let's now examine the specific targets where these collisions are taking place for a more detailed analysis. On taking a closer look at the simulation, it seems that we have multiple collisions of the tool with the workpiece holder. We will identify these targets and the tool position by clicking on View Tool at Target. These targets are mostly along the curve of the workpiece. We can easily reorient these targets so that the collision can be prevented and making sure that the process is not interfered. After reorienting the targets, we can proceed to synchronize the data to RAPID and rerun the simulation. This time, the simulation executes without any collisions, confirming that the adjustments were effective. In addition to the graphical display of collisions, the system also provides the option to log collision events, either to the output window or to a separate log file for further analysis. To configure these settings, go to the File menu and select Options. Under the Simulation section, click on Collision. Here you'll find various configuration options for collision detection. Enabling the Log Collisions to File option will allow you to automatically record collision data 
in a dedicated log file. Make sure to specify the name and path for the log file by clicking the ellipsis button three dots next to the file path field. This allows you to browse and select the desired location for saving the collision log file. Selecting a collision set or one of its groups will highlight the associated objects in both the graphical window and the browser. This functionality allows for a quick and efficient review of the objects included within a collision set or its respective groups. This overview covers the essentials of collision sets in Robot Studio. Beyond detecting collisions, the tool also supports monitoring for near-miss scenarios. Additionally, leveraging different levels of collision geometry detail can enhance the accuracy and effectiveness of your collision detection strategy. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe for tutorials like this.